It's June 9th. Day six, right? Yep. Gonna be another hot one today. Highs in around 80, right? No, I think 89. Well, down in Evelyn, so. I have 89 down in Evelyn, so we're gonna try to get to camp early, I guess. Go for a swim. We've got two portages today. One short, one long. One short, one long. Not much for paddling. Sam's in the stern again. Portaging from Fox to Stewart Lakes. It's our longest portage yet, about 280 rods. A little swampy. Right here, you've got a nice little stream coming through. Not the best bridge they could have made, but does the job all right. Pretty swampy down there. And back uphill. You got anything to tell them about the portage? Too many flies. Too many flies. Now this is about a point in time where you think, hey look, water, I think we made it. And then you look closer, it's nothing but a little beaver swamp. You just gotta keep going. Right on the trail. Some bear poop. Right on the trail. Does look pretty fresh. It has flies on it. Ugh. Ugh. Dad, finishing up the mile portage into Stewart. How you feeling? Feeling pretty good. Uh, those logs that were crossing the stream, this pack's pretty top heavy. I about <laughs> I bit it. <laughs> I came pretty close to biting. It. <laughs> I was, thank goodness. All right, Once go set those packs run, down. I had, to, I had to run the last couple of the scouts where I was gonna, <laughs> I was gonna be. I don't know which way I was gonna fall. <laughs> hey, you made it. Yeah. We made it. Oh, feels good to be on Stuart. Can't wait to take a swim when we get to camp. It's swim time, pretty soon. Trying to go right over there somewhere.
time for our swim and laundry. There's a great swim rock. Yeah. All right, here I go. Do you guys get in over there? Yeah, unless you slip. It's a little chilly. Yeah, I think mean, you'll get used to it in a second. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's what I did. You might. Then your body gets used to it. Oh, there's a rock here. Oh. That is refreshing. Ooh. You got a fly on your head. The last time I was up there with Jim, Jim and Birmingham, it was the same time of year. And we went swimming to Sunday Lake. And it was so stinking cold, you could only be in the lake for five minutes. I mean, it was. Yeah, it's, I've had a lot colder than there. Yeah. Like it's also not as hot out, so it doesn't, yeah. like right now, it doesn't feel. As cold, I feel well, like. When, especially when you go to Lake Lake too, then it's lake's gonna be colder. You heard him Crystal Lake that one year. Is it on? on like June yeah. Second or something. <laughs> ice went out. Lots of rock. Yeah. I'm about to go yeah. under. Ricky. You ready? Can we go pro with. Should I? Yeah. Do it. Floated on our back. Like this high up. Made a couple of runs. <laughs> It's not that cold after you get used to it. Yeah. Like, I've been, like, last year, once I got under, I didn't want, like, I wanted to get right out. Yeah. Not that bad. What a beautiful lake, though. You guys want soap? Nope. Okay. You got a bar of soap in my soap over right here. Try to get the hair off. I remember to take that out. Cleaned up. Ready? Ready. It is Tuesday, June something. We're at we're having taco night, Mexican night. We got salsa, refried beans. Ground beef with taco seasoning, all rehydrated from the food dehydrator. And of course, the margarita. La margarita. It's June 10th, is that right? Yes. Day We're, 7. Wednesday, I think. Wednesday. We are on Stewart. Didn't get out of the tent till about 12.45 <laughs> today. It's pretty cold. Other than that, we've been staying under the tarp, and it's windy, a little bit of rain. What do we have for breakfast? We had some bacon for breakfast, and now we are making some potato soup with dehydrated, rehydrated hamburger. Yeah, you had breakfast 15 minutes ago, now you're going to have lunch. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Just how it should be. <laughs> All right. Dad beat me in a game of cribbage this morning. How's it feel to be the tent cribbage champion? Very satisfying. All right. And by this morning, I mean at 12.30, he won that game. So I was out of the tent by 8.30, <laughs> by the way. And then he went back in the tent because it was too cold. So right about it, doesn't it doesn't count. It doesn't count. It counts. <laughs>
it's about 5 30. we ended up going back in the tent because it was getting cold again did a little bit of reading got a good nap in now it's a little sunny We're out. oh yeah super sunny out here if, if you can't tell just filling up some water bottles important to stay hydrated on cold days like this too easy to forget so you don't get quite as thirsty especially if you're just laying in the tent all day but we got out of the tent and realized Ryan and I hadn't had anything but coffee today so we to start chugging some water chugging some water we, we're starting to get a fire going despite how wet it is here it is There were about five oh, like snakes in there yesterday, so who knows where they went, but. And more wood to cut. That's a real nice log. That'll keep us warm. I'm hot now. What's up? Big day tomorrow. Yeah, exactly. What are you expecting? Oh, I'm expecting a lot of hard bushwhacking. So we're heading into the uh, Sterling Lake Primitive Management Area. We got our PMA permit, so we're gonna go. Uh, there's a couple old portages from years ago before it was a PMA, and hopefully we can find those and they'll make our bushwhack a little bit easier. And you know, it's gonna be fun. We get a paddle through Nibbin and Bibbin Lakes, and then on to Sterling, where hopefully we can find a good spot to camp and get into the fish. Weather-wise, it's looking a lot better than the past couple days for traveling. Yeah, it's still gonna be a little chilly. It'll be around 60, but I mean, I'm expecting it to be a hard slog, hard slog ahead. So we don't want it too warm, and it'll be. I'll be happy if the rain stays away. I will too. We're not hitting any particularly big lakes tomorrow, so once we get off this, uh, I really don't need to worry about winds causing big lakes. Wind will not be a factor. You look out there. Wind has certainly been a factor today. We haven't gotten out in the canoe at all. Spent no. most of the day in the tent. We do have a little bit of a fire going, but. Would have loved to get out and explore Stewart Lake a little bit more. I imagine there's some great fishing. We've had great fishing everywhere else on the rest of this trip, but wasn't in the cards. Fire was good enough for us to have some muffins, so that's always good. Blueberry and chocolate chip, carving up for tomorrow. I think I've been sleeping too much today. Maybe. Backwards, I went backwards that last time. We got that on video. <laughs> 